tropical day trip. Pepper and George are on a cruise ship holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Wake up, George! <laughs> there are lots of things to do on this boat. Well, actually, Pepper, we will be getting off the boat today. Is it the end of the holiday? No. <laughs> We're a long, long way from home. We thought it would be nice to get off and have a look around. Step this way for the Tropical Island Day Trip. Why are we going in a little boat, Granny? The big boat is too big to stop at a tropical island. This is a tropical island. Welcome to our island! Oh, how wonderful! This is rather pleasant. Thank you very much. This is the Tropical Island Marketplace. Can we buy something, Granny? I don't see why not. Grandpa Pig has found a colourful shirt. This looks rather fun. Granny Pig has found a tropical gnome. And this would look lovely in our garden. <gasps> Grandpa, can I have this dancing dolly, please? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> George wants that little guitar. This is actually a ukulele. It's a very calming musical instrument when played correctly. Ukulele! <laughs> yes, please, we'll take it. Ah, <laughs> uh, lovely. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Rohan. I got a little wooden box with holes in it. Oh. It's a present for my pet beetle, Bernard. <gasps> I need to get a present for Goldie, my pet fish. What does Goldie like? She likes swimming around and going like this. Maybe Goldie would like a cuddly whale. Yes. <coughs> Can we get this for Goldie the fish? That's a kind thought, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Doing a bit of tourist shopping, are we? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, so are we. Can't resist. I think we have to go and make a phone call now. I need to speak to Goldie. Toodle pip. Bye. Here is the Tropical Island Telephone. I wonder what everyone on the other side of the world is doing now. Uh, hello? Who is this? It's me, Daddy! I'm on holiday, remember? Oh, Peppa, how's the holiday? It is very nice. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Peppa, for you. Hello, Goldie! I am on a big boat with a pirate and a mermaid and we saw a whale. And do you remember me? <laughs> Are you all enjoying yourselves? Yes, Mummy. Here is George. George, hello. What's the best thing about your holiday? Potato. Potato? Potato? Pepper and George are going back to the cruise ship. Well, I think you will all agree. That was splendid. Yes, Granny Pig. Nothing else we do today could top that experience. Except for a ride on Potato, of course. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you today? Mr Fox, what are you doing here? I've got a shop. There are a lot of people on board this ship who need things. Like an egg on a stick, a top hat, or a pirate beard. Oh, that's just what I was looking for. See what I mean? We built some things too. So I see. Well, if you need anything else, come to me. I know what I need. Some food. Who else is hungry? Me! Yeah, and me! Pepper and George are eating dinner on the deck of the cruise ship. Piggetti! <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, the holiday cruise ship will take Pepper and George home. Holiday on the sea! Pepper and George are on a cruise ship holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <gasps> we won a big boat! <laughs> there are so many things to do on this boat. What do we do first, Granny? I think we should have breakfast. Ah, but would that be a mermaid breakfast or a dinosaur breakfast? <gasps> dinosaur! Grr. 
<laughs> this is the Dinosaur Cafe. <laughs> Morning. Would you like some dinosaur breakfast eggs? Dinosaur breakfast eggs have spots on them. <laughs> Ahoy there, sailors! My name is Pirate Pete, and this is Mrs Mermaid. Please come to our fancy dress show tonight. We'll all have lots of fun. Oh, yes. We should go to the show tonight. But before that, what would you like to do? Trampolines? Splash pools? Mini golf? No, no, no! Why not just try them? Everything on this cruise ship is free. Is it really? Yes, except the ride on potato. Ooh. George wants to do the ride on potato. <laughs> potato! Good. You stay here with George. Pepper and I will find something else to do. <laughs> Trampolines! Yippee! <laughs> here is Rohan Rhino. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Rohan. Do you want to play in the mermaid splash pool? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Granny! Oh, have you finished bouncing already? Maybe that's enough potato for one day, George. Potato! Potato! Oh. <laughs> this is the mermaid splash pool. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> that's it, George. I have no more coins left. Oh. Hello, boys. We need to get ready for the show. It is showtime on the cruise ship. Everyone has dressed up to watch. Ooh. Good evening, boys and girls. I'm Pirate Pete. I sailed around the seas and treasure was my wish. But nothing did I find there except a great big fish. Oi, I'm a mermaid, not a fish. <laughs> Do you want to come look for treasure? I don't need to. I've got a magic box. Ooh. It will give you whatever you wish for. Just say the magic word. Which is? Uh, oh, I've forgotten. Sorry, memory like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows a magic word? A candelabra. What? A candelabra? <laughs> no, it's not working. Mrs. Mermaid, can you check the box is not broken? <laughs> Oh, Abracadabra! Ooh. Look at that! Chocolate coins for everyone! <laughs> but wait! My new friend, Mrs. Mermaid, has gone! <gasps> Who can help me magic her back? Me! I can help you! Aha! Come up on stage! <laughs> What's your name? I'm Peppa Pig! <laughs> So, Pepper Pig, what do we do to get Mrs. Mermaid back? Say the magic word! Abracadabra! Ta-da! <laughs> and that is the end of the show! Good night, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a wonderful day. I can't think how it could be any more special. Ah! What was that? It's a whale! Wow. wow! She's saying night, night! It is bedtime on the holiday cruise ship. Tomorrow will be another day. Monkey trees! Today, Pepper and her family are visiting an adventure park. Welcome to Monkey Trees! Miss Rabbit is in charge. What do we do at Monkey Trees? You climb through the trees like monkeys. I just hope we don't have to climb too high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. You'll be wearing a harness, so you can't fall. If you lose your balance, oops, the wire will hold you. <laughs> it looks fun. Me first. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> and now me. I just have to keep my balance. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. This isn't high at all. That's because this is the practice bit. What? 
the real course is high up in the treetops. Ah. Oh. Don't worry, I'll be down here giving you advice. That's good to know. Follow the wire. It will lead you where you have to go. The steps are going high into the treetops. Here is the wobbly bridge. <laughs> Danny Dog and his daddy are crossing it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Wow, we are so high up. Brilliant, isn't it? As long as I don't look down, I should be fine. Ooh, this bridge is wobbly. That's why it's called the Wobbly Bridge. You're doing great. <laughs> wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Wibble, wobble. <laughs> um, maybe I'll wait here for a bit. <laughs> Come on, Mr Pig. We can't cross until you cross. What's the hold-up? There is a queue behind Daddy Pig. Ah, what's going on? Sorry, everyone. OK, here goes. Whoa! I did it! I did the wobbly bridge. Oh, oh. Well done, Daddy. <laughs> These are the swinging hoops. Oh, there's nothing to walk on. Just use your arms to swing from hoop to hoop, like a monkey. Um, I'm not sure. Come on, Mummy. You have to go first so we can go. OK, here goes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, this is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> it's too difficult. Oh, I can't hang on anymore. <laughs> ah! Mummy, Pepper and George are hanging from the wire. What do we do? You need something big and heavy to push you across. Ah, I see where this is going. Hang on, here I come. <laughs> well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's what my tummy was built for. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ginormous zip wire. <laughs> this is the last bit. Mr Rabbit will give you some help. Just decide if you want to go head or feet first. Definitely feet first. Feet first, off you go. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Pepper and George, head or feet first? Head first. <laughs> head first, off you go. <laughs> <laughs> And Daddy Pig? <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to say head first. Head first. <laughs> Off you go. No. There's been a misunderstanding. I want to go feet first. <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> I must admit, that was quite fun. No, Daddy. It was the most amazing good thing in the whole wide world ever! <laughs> Peppa loves monkey trees. Everyone loves monkey trees. Water park! Peppa and her family have come to the water park today. Hello, everyone! Miss Rabbit is in charge. These are the changing rooms. Please change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. <laughs> Pepper is wearing her swimming costume. <laughs> and George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Yes, there's bubbles and slides and all kinds of watery fun. <laughs> this is the bubble bay. Pedro Pony is here with his mummy. Hello, Peppa. Let's play in the bubbles. Bubbles! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bubbles lift you up and tickle you. <laughs> oh, yes. That feels good. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bubbly, wobbly, bouncy bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tipping bucket. Mandy Mouse is here with her mummy. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. Hello, Mandy. You've got to try this. It's brilliant. What do I do? 
You wait here until the bucket is full. Then what happens? <laughs> Something sounds like fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Mummy. You go next. What do I do? You wait here until... Until what? Ah! Oh, 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 I'm all wet. Although, I suppose that is the point of coming to a water park. Oh, <laughs> let's do the water slides. <laughs> here are the water slides. <laughs> There's a tiny slide for little children <laughs> and a really big, ginormous slide for the people who like that kind of thing. Look at me on the slide! <laughs> That's very high. <laughs> Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> George, let's do the tiny slide. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, you have to watch us. OK. We're watching. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> that looks fun. I'm going to have a go. OK. We'll stay here and watch you. Sorry, Daddy Pig. You can't wear glasses on the water slides. Oh. I'll look after them for you. Daddy Pig cannot see very well without his glasses. Oh, dear. These are the steps to the big, ginormous slide. Daddy, we're waiting! Sorry, I have to go slow without my glasses. Daddy's taking a long time to climb up the tiny slide. Hurry up, Daddy! <laughs> These steps are taking forever. Where is Daddy? There he is! Hello, Daddy Pig. I didn't think you liked heights. Eh? Daddy Pig cannot see where he is. What are you doing up there, Daddy Pig? Sorry, what did you say? Daddy Pig cannot hear because he is so high up. <coughs> Sit back and enjoy the ride. OK, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> You did the big ginormous slide. Oh, oh. You are brilliant. Here are your glasses, Daddy Pig. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. That was actually the best fun ever. Maybe it helped that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves the water park. Everyone loves the water park. <laughs> Swimming lesson. Today, Pepper and her friends are having a swimming lesson. They are in the little pool. The children can touch the bottom of the pool with their feet. <laughs> OK, let's start. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Has everyone got a float? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The floats are like spaghetti. Tuck the floats under your arms and swim about. The floats make swimming easy. I love swimming. Yay. I love swimming too. <laughs> Hello. It is Rebecca Rabbit with Mummy Rabbit. Hi, sister. Oh, hi, sister. Sorry we're late. No problem. We've only just started. <laughs> Look at me swim, Mummy. <laughs> that looks like so much fun. I wish I could swim. You can't swim. No, I never learnt. I'm a bit worried about water. Well, sister, I think it's about time you had a swimming lesson. Yes, you can join our lesson. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a children's class and I'm a bit old for lessons. You're never too old to learn something new. Please join us, Mummy. OK, then. I'll just change into a swimming costume. Right, I'm ready. Mummy Rabbit is going to join the children's swimming lesson. Oh, good. It's not deep. Yes, this is the little pool. OK, sister, pick up a float. Tuck it under your arms. Now lift your feet up. OK. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm swimming. Well done, Mummy. Yes, sister. That's brilliant. This is such fun. Ah, I've got water on my face. 
A little splash of water is fine. But I don't like it. I didn't like it before. That's right. Gerald always kept his head high out of the water. But now I can swim with my face in the water. Amazing! But I could never do that. A little splash of water is fine. No, I can't put my head in the water. Gerald, can you show my sister what I taught you? Yes. Put your chin a teeny little bit in the water. Let's all do that. OK. That feels fine. And now we all... Blow bubbles! <laughs> OK. Here goes. <laughs> that was easy. Yes, very good, sister. And now we... Blow bubbles and swim along. Like this. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> You're as good as me now, Mummy. <laughs> and now it's starfish time! Yay, starfish! The children lie on their backs like starfish and float. Very good, Starfish. Do you think I could have a go? Of course. Lie on your back like me. OK. <laughs> Amazing! It works! I'm a Starfish! <laughs> <laughs> well done, sister. And, as we've all done so well today, I'm going to get out the inflatables. Hooray! The inflatables are the best bit. There are lots of inflatables. <laughs> Fruit, a slide, and even an inflatable cheese. This is the biggest cheese in the world. <laughs> Look at me on the slide. <laughs> My goodness, that looks fun. Mummy, come and join us. Can I? Can I really? Of course. We can't let the children have all the fun. <laughs> Do the slide, Mummy. OK, here goes. <laughs> You're brilliant, Mummy! This is so much fun! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit loves swimming lessons. Everyone loves swimming lessons. Papa and her friends are at the playground today. <laughs> I'm the cheeky monkey! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr. Bull. Stand back, everyone! Mr. Bull, what are you doing? I'm digging up the playground! Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse Excuse me, Mr. Ball. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft, hard, moo. And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. <gasps> Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr. Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's for children. Wow! Everything is children size. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. <coughs> the 
Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <laughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> This is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK, pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <Woohoo>! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr. Ball! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. The Big Hill. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Peppa. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Peppa and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <laughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. <gasps> Nearly there, George! <laughs> It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing! What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me, and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK. We've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> Don't! No, Peppa! I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing! Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. 
think this is it. We made it! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world! Look, there's the playground! <laughs> I can see the supermarket! And there is Susie! <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top! It is amazing! <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down! Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up! Come on, George! <laughs> Let's roll a bit! Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun! Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Rolling down was really fun! Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> The park! Today, Pepper and her family are at the park. There are so many fun things to do in the park. What shall we start with? Let's go to the little bridge and say hello to the ducks. Quack, quack! Yes, the ducks! Here is the little bridge. Zoe Zebra is here. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Peppa. Oh, where are the ducks? I think they are hiding. Let's call them. Docs, where are you? Come out now, wherever you are. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Here are the baby ducklings. Ooh. They are so sweet. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Peppa quack, likes talking quack, to ducks. Quack, quack. Everyone likes talking to ducks. What a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's visit the bouncy tree. This is the bouncy tree. Danny Dog is already on it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Ready, steady, bounce. <laughs> bounce, bounce. George wants a go. OK, George, I'll lift you on, but I'll keep hold of you. George is a bit too little to bounce on the branch on his own. Ready, Ready steady, steady, bounce! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough bouncing for today. See you later. Bye, Danny. So, what's next? I think it's the hopping logs. These are the hopping logs. Susie Sheep is here. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Susie. Watch me. I can do it without touching the ground. Hooray! <coughs> My go. Uh, 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 oh, I did it. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now it is George's turn. There you go, George. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it's a big gap, isn't it, George? Would you like some help? <laughs> whoa, 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 and whoa. <laughs> One day, when George is big like me, he will be able to do it on his own. <laughs> What's next? It has to be the monkey bars. <laughs> Here are the monkey bars. Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are trying to swing across them. Oof, oof. It is difficult not to let go of the monkey bars. My turn. You just have to swing like a monkey. Look. Ooh. It's easy when you're big and strong like me. Ugh. You're not swinging, you're walking. Oh, 
cheeky daddy pig. <laughs> daddy is a cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> My go. <laughs> oh, I can't hold on. Oof, it's impossible. <laughs> George wants to go. Oh, George, you are too little. Even I can't do it. Hmm, maybe being little might help. <laughs> Hooray! What can we do now? Well, there's one thing in the park that we absolutely have to do. I think I know what that is. Um... It has something to do with your boots. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The park has lots of muddy puddles for Peppa and her friends to jump in. This is brilliant. Peppa loves the park. Everybody loves the park. Peppa and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo ha! Win a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh. Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world, so we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket! <gasps> Does that mean...? Yes. It means we're going to America! Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America, I think. Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming into land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. Wow! The buildings are so tall. First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow. wow! Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy. There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look. There's Super Potato. Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Ash Brown, Vegetables in Space. That's a movie we're going to be in. Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood. Yes. Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. 
On wheels! Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? And meet Hash Brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh, I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. Pepper and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. I love this motorhome. <laughs> a motorhome is a house that you can drive. Are we in Hollywood yet, Daddy Pig? Let's ask someone. Hello. Hello. Howdy, folks. I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yep, there's a lot of us around. What can I do you for? Stopping for some gas? No, uh... About to eat? Well, we... Country dancing. We would just like to know if we're in Hollywood, please. No, ma'am, you're a long way from Hollywood. Oh. But as you're here, why don't you just settle down and get some of that good old home cooking in your belly? Well, I suppose we could stop for breakfast. Hooray! So what'll it be? Sunny side up or sunny side down? Eggs over easy, no need to frown. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs over easy, please. Coming right up. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. What's eggs over easy? I flip the egg over. Thank you. And what's sunny side up? I don't flip the egg over. It stays like this. Sunny side up, please. And me. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is good at cooking eggs. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. I love my sunny side up egg. Mmm. Eggy. <laughs> Thank you. That was delicious. Now I'll just sit back, relax, and... So, who likes dancing? Me! Good! Then y'all come and meet Mr. Bob Bobcat and his band. All join hands and step to the right. Keep on stepping and make it tight. Oh my gosh, oh my Joe. Keep on stepping and here we go. Let's all join in. Y'all be needing these. <laughs> Take your partner by the hand, now everybody swing! Swing, swing, swing! Woo, woo, yee-haw! Peppa, would you like to do the singing? Yes, please! <laughs> Jump up and down like in a cup. Jump up and down and... Round Never done a square dance like that before. Y'all keep the noise down, please. We can't hear our monster trucks. Monster truck! This is a monster truck. Wow! Those big wheels have got a car on top of them. <laughs> Mr. Coyote is going to jump over a big muddy puddle. <laughs> That looks fun. You can have a go, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Hooray! Oh, it is a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. You need to go faster to jump over the puddle. Faster, Daddy! Whoa. Ah! <laughs> Daddy's truck is jumping up and down in muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why don't you have a go? Oh, I think we need to get back on the road to Hollywood. Hollywood? Yes, we're going to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Hash Brown? Well, he's my favourite. You can come too if you like. Oh, I would love to, darling, but I'm kind of busy. Goodbye now. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 
Peppa and her family are back on the road to Hollywood. Madame Gazelle is taking Peppa and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy, crawly safari. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Here is Mr Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now, we arrive at the grass savanna. The home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh, no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry. He can't have got far. Yes! Everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh, dear! Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. <coughs> ah! Shoo, shoo! Cheeky birds. Eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. 
It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. <laughs> Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No. Let's drive somewhere, find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> ah, yes. That was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is. Motorbike! <laughs> What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Which way should we go? That way. The seaside. Hooray! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum 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 Granny's motorbike goes brum 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 all day long <laughs> This is Grandad Dog's garage Hello! Fill her up please, Grandad Dog Granny Pig, I didn't know you had a motorcycle Yes, we're using it while you fix our car Well, the car is fixed you can take it now. Oh. oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye. 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 Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum all day long. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Hooray! Let's camp here. But Granny, we've forgotten the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this. Wow. wow. The motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Pepper. We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all. Because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping. Especially when he can bring his garden with him. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, as a special treat, some of you are going to spend a day with the police. As a prisoner? <laughs> no, Freddy. As a guest. They will join us as we drive around in our police car helping people. Who would like to go? Me! Me! Me. OK, Pepper and Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the police car. Have fun! I will call you when it is the children's lunchtime. Right you are, Madam Gazelle. See you later. Don't be late. We are having sandwiches and jelly. Sandwiches and jelly, eh? Mmm, delicious. The police like sandwiches and jelly. Bye, everyone. Bye. Nino, Nino, Nino. <laughs> Can we use the siren, please? I'm 
afraid not, Freddy. The siren is to be used only for emergencies. What's going on here? Oh, dear. There is a traffic jam. We need to get past all these cars to see what the problem is. Can we use the siren now? Yes. This is just the sort of emergency the siren is for. <laughs> it is Mr Stallion. His car has broken down. The police! Thank goodness you're here! What seems to be the trouble? My car is broken! Don't worry, Mr Stallion. We'll sort this out. Thank you. No need to thank us. We're just doing our job. Car parked in middle of road and obstructing traffic. Now we simply move the car out of the way. Ugh, there! And the traffic can move again. Hooray! Emergency over. Bye-bye, Mr Stallion! Bye-bye! Bye! So you see, children, our day is full of emergencies like that. We never know what will come next. Calling all police. Calling all police. Who's that? It's the police station. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Emergency. Cat stuck up a tree. Another emergency. Can we use the siren again? Of course, Freddy. We've got a cat to rescue. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? It's Mr Cat. Meow. Mr Cat is stuck in the tree. What are you doing up there? I climbed up. Why? It seemed like a good idea at the time. <sighs> and now you're stuck? Yes. It's a good thing we're around to help, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> I'll get the ladder. Don't worry, Mr Cat. We'll get you down. Emergency over. Hooray! Sorry, the tree looked like it would be good fun to climb. Yes, it's not a good idea to have a tree here. Dangerous tree in wrong place. So, children, have you enjoyed your day with the police? It's been brilliant! I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. Calling the police. Over. Another emergency? How exciting! <laughs> police Officer Panda, receiving you loud and clear. Over. This is Madame Gazelle. Peppa and Freddy are late for their lunch. Remember, it is sandwiches and jelly. Over. Late for sandwiches and jelly? Now that's what I call a real emergency. So, can we use the... Use the siren? Of course. It's what the siren was built for. Hooray! Pepper and Freddy love the police car. Everyone loves the police... The lifeboat. Today, Captain Dog is taking Danny and Pepper to visit the lifeboat. Ahoy there, young sailors! Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! We were hoping you could tell us all about the lifeboat. Of course! Hop aboard! <laughs> Lifeboats rescue people when they get into trouble at sea. Ooh! You wouldn't believe the number of people who set sail without a moment's thought. Yes! All they had to do was follow a couple of simple rules. Before setting sail, check the weather. Nice and sunny is good for sailing. And always take a phone in case you need to call for help. Simple rules, but it's amazing how many people don't follow them. And then they have to be rescued by my lifeboat. How does the lifeboat rescue them? Good question, Pepper. First, we ring this bell. <laughs> Then I pull this lever and uh, whoosh! The lifeboat shoots down this ramp, making a huge splash to the rescue! Wow! Can I pull the lever now? No, Daddy. The lever can only be pulled in a real rescue. The lifeboat won't be launched today. Oh. Thank you for showing us the lifeboat, Grabby Rabbit. You're most welcome. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.
away! All that talk of sailing makes me wish I could set sail again. But, Dad, you're staying at home now. Oh, yes. That's right. I promise to never set sail ever, ever, ever again. Mmm. I fancy a bit of cheese. Grampy Rabbit likes cheese. Oh! There is no cheese in the fridge. No problem. I'll just get some more. This is Madam Cow's cheese shop. It is on a little rock out at sea. Hello? Hello there. Uh, do you by any chance have any cheese? Of course. This is a cheese shop. We have lots and lots of cheese. Goodbye. Good. They've got cheese. Oh, but what if they sell all the cheese before I get over there? I'd better hurry. Oh, dear. Grumpy Rabbit has set sail without his phone. And he has set sail without checking the weather. Oh, the motor seems to be broken. Maybe I should have checked the weather. Grampy Rabbit is out at sea all on his own. And I don't seem to have my phone. How can I call for help? I suppose I could try my voice. That's quite loud. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. It's Grumpy Rabbit. He needs rescuing. Quick, back to the lifeboat. All aboard the lifeboats. Aye, aye, Captain Dog. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Wait, I said I would never sail again. But Grumpy Rabbit needs rescuing. You're right. Daddy, pull the lever. This is brilliant. The lifeboat goes very fast. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit! You saved me! Uh, would you mind if we carried on over to the cheese shop? Hello. Uh, one piece of cheese, please. Of course. What took you so long? Uh, I got into a bit of trouble on the sea. And we rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Yes, you did a fine job. Uh, and the good thing is that now you have seen exactly how the lifeboat works. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves the lifeboat. Everybody loves the lifeboat. Roller disco. Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Why Me too. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, the Linda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go <sighs> round, round, round. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round, round, round. George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, George. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Fred's 
Seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato. Four. We have to be quicker with our own music potato, next three time. Potato, yes, four. I've got it ready Five to play. Potato, six potato, On. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favorite song! Skate on <laughs> down, <laughs> disco town. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing because the roller skates are flashing. Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Mummy! Hello, Handy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! Hello, Mummy! Hello again, Pepper! Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Jelly! Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Mummy, can me and George play on the computer? Sorry, Peppa. I've got a lot of important work to do today. Oh. You two can help me in the kitchen. OK. There's a cupboard in here that needs a jolly good tidy. Could you pass me a pan, please? Here's a pan, Daddy. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Thank you, George. What is this funny thing? That is a special bowl for making jelly. Ooh, I like jelly. <laughs> can we make some jelly? Good idea, Pepper. Maybe it can be a surprise for Mummy Pig. Yes! First, we need to go to the shops and get everything we need to make jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Mummy Pig! We're just popping out! OK, see you later. Daddy, Pepper and George have come to the supermarket. Daddy, what things do we need to make jelly? Well, we don't need flour or eggs or milk or butter. To make jelly, we just need, uh, jelly. It doesn't look very wibbly or wobbly. We add water to make it wibbly wobbly. Oh. What flavour do you want? Cheese. <laughs> George likes cheese. I don't think they have cheese jelly, George. Oh. There is strawberry, orange or lemon flavour. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes. I love jelly, all wibbly wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, we open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. Ooh, they are a bit wibbly and wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit. 
and stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card for <laughs> Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy, all this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping and the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly. Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming! Surprise! Surprise! <gasps> How wonderful! We made jelly! Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Wibbly wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> Trampolines. Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. <laughs> I've never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Mrs. Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> Have a go. Hey, hey. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> hey. Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups <laughs> are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bounce. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. Oh. Woo! 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 Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. Help! I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness!
this. This is embarrassing. Yes. It's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Yay! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. This is unbelievable! Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? <laughs> that was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounced on trampolines, you must... Thank you, Pepper. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Pepper loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Would Teddy like some tea? Yes, please. Teddy loves tea. <laughs> Here you are, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur! <laughs> George likes playing with Mr Dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> What's that smell? Poo-poo! <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> George is done poo-poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. <laughs> That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy? <laughs> Why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Pepper. He is potty training. Hmm. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Pepper. You were just the same once. What? <coughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Pepper. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. Now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty. That's right. Potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play giants! <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the smell of a clean, fresh George. <laughs> Quick, George, hide from the giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy! <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep. Have you seen a little piggy around here? <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes. <laughs> he went that way. Come back, you cheeky piggy. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Wee wee! Mummy! Daddy! George wants his potty! Come on, George. Let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Peppa, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Oh, oh, the magic word is potty. So when you want to go, call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. potty. <laughs> How high can you throw the ball, Peppa? Really high. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> Catch the ball, George. <laughs> George, do you need the potty? Potty! Potty! 
Potty! Hang on, George! We've got the potty! Here it is. Well done, George. You called for the potty. Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up. Like me! <laughs> <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. Health check. Today, Pepper is going to the doctors for a health check. Are we all ready? Yes, I've got Teddy. And I've got the red book. What's the red book? It's your very own book, Pepper. It helps the doctors see how you are growing up. Ooh! Pepper has arrived at the doctors. Here is Dr. Brown Bear. Hello, Pepper. Have you come for your health check? Yes, I have. And did you bring your red book with you? Yes, I did. And I brought Teddy too. Very good. You're seeing Dr. Polar Bear today. Ah, that means she's ready to see you. This is Dr. Polar Bear. Hello. Who do we have here? I'm Peppa Pig. And who is this? Teddy. Has Teddy come to see what happens at a health check? Yes. Lovely. And did you bring your red book? Here it is. Excellent. Let's start by seeing how tall you are. Come and stand by the wall here, please, Peppa. <laughs> That's it. I'm a big girl now. Yes, you are. Dr Polar Bear writes how tall Peppa is in the red book. Now, hop onto these scales for me, please. Scales show how heavy you are. That's good. Now, I will listen to your heart with my stethoscope. A stethoscope makes your heart sound louder. Dr Polar Bear can hear Peppa's heart beating. Would you like to listen? Yes, please. <laughs> it's going bumpy dump, bumpy dump, bumpy dump. <laughs> and now Teddy. Is Teddy's heart going bumpy dump, bumpy dump? No, Teddy's heart doesn't do that because Teddy is a doll. Oh, I see. Now I'll check your ears with my special torch. <laughs> it tickles. That's all lovely. Now I'll check your mouth. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Wonderful. <laughs> do you want to check my nose? <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. I can see that your nose is working very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump up and down. <laughs> I love jumping up and down. And flap your arms. Okay. <laughs> Super. Now, do you like eating fruit and vegetables? Yes, I do. What are your favourite fruit and vegetables? I like apples and oranges and bananas. Good. And do you like broccoli? Mm, I like broccoli a little bit. OK. But I love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti isn't a vegetable, Peppa. <laughs> I love spaghetti too. <laughs> is Peppa up to date with her vaccinations? Yes, she is. A vaccination stops you getting ill. Very good. Well done, Pepper. That's the end of your health check. Would you like a sticker? Yes, please. Mummy Pig, are there any questions that you want to ask me? Oh, I can't think of any. I have some questions. OK. How big and heavy are you? <laughs> I am just the right size for a polar bear. And do you like eating broccoli? I like broccoli a little bit. Good. You can have a sticker too. Thank you, Peppa. Teddy eats lots of broccoli. Well, Teddy must have a sticker then. And Mummy can have a sticker because she eats broccoli too. Oh, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your red book back, all up to date. Thank you, Dr Polar Bear. Did you enjoy coming today, Peppa? Yes, it was really fun. <laughs> Peppa loves having a health check. <laughs> Everyone loves having a health check. Parachute games. 
It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye bye to the boat. Bye bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, up, up. And let go. The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. It really is spinning. Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could Play the rainbow game. Yes, please. <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Heaps! Peppa and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! <laughs> Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> Now, lie your hoops on the ground. Add the jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump,
pepper. What? But you... Oh, our disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen a blue disc? Yes. I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy. Are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes. It's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh. Great. So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy. But do it right. Oh. <gasps> All the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry. I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes! All the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeeze! <laughs> 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 I think it's broken. <laughs> Keep shaking, Daddy. <laughs> Shake harder, Mummy. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. I'm trying my best. Uh, 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 right. oh, oh. Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> okay, everyone, watch what my disc does. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! To you, Danny! To you, Peppa! Peppa loves flying discs. Everybody loves flying discs. Guinea pigs. Peppa is at playgroup with her friends. Today, children, I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww. They're so cute. This is Ginger. He is very clever. Aww. And this is Brian. He is very sensitive. <coughs> now, children, I am going on holiday next week and I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me, me, me. It's a bit of work and you will need to take them home. Me, me. I will do it. Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I love animals. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. <coughs> It is home time. Mummy, mummy, look what I've got. Oh, what's that? Ginger and Brian. Peppa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. <coughs> I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. Anything else? 
They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. Okay. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently, we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes. It is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. Yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Peppa. Brush them in the night time. Night, night! It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello? Daddy Pig here? Hello! This is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes. We're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh, yes. Ah, oh, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble oh. at all. <laughs> Peppa and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. <laughs> Here is Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Peppa, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Ooh. Uh... Um... Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after... Winter games. Today, Peppa and her family are skiing on Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Which way shall we go? One side of the mountain is a nice, gentle slope. The other side is very, very steep. Well, I certainly don't want to ski down the steep side like I did last time. <laughs> yes, that was quite spectacular. Last year, Mummy Pig skied ah! down the mountain, ah! past the shops, ah! all the way home. Ah! And she won the Winter Games Cup. <laughs> you skied so well, Mummy. Yes, well, I didn't actually mean to do it, so that's not happening again. OK. Let's go this way, then. <laughs> Daddy, Mummy, Pepper and George are skiing down the gentle slope. Here are George's friends, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza. George and his friends are skiing together like a long caterpillar. Hello, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. I love this bit. It's all wibbly-wobbly. <laughs> Here is Mandy Mouse. She has a mono ski. Hello! Hello, Mandy! Look at me go! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. He is on a snowboard. Hello, everyone! Hi, Danny! Look at me jump! <laughs> wow! You're all skiing so well! Yes, you're almost as good as Mummy and me. Mr Pig, 
What is your best ski trick? Can you go backwards? Backwards? I think that's impossible. Yes, I don't think anyone can ski backwards. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone has arrived at the bottom of the slope. That was good. <laughs> again, again. Yes, let's get the ski lift. This is the ski lift. It takes everyone to the top again. <laughs> Skiing is my most favourite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, Mandy, I thought your favourite thing was cheese. Ah, uh, yes. Cheese is good too. <laughs> <laughs> everyone is back at the top of Snowy Mountain. Now we ski down again. Yay! <laughs> Stop! Hang on a moment! Since we're all together, it's a great chance to get a photo! But, Mummy, we want to ski down again! Oh, it won't take a moment! Everyone squish together so I can see you all in the picture! That's good! I just need to go back a bit to get you all in! Uh, Mummy Pig, you know you're standing on the edge of the mountain. Yes, yes! Good! I can almost see everyone now! There! Big smile, everyone! Whoops! Here we go again. Mummy Pig is skiing down the mountain backwards. Whoa! Quick, everyone, to the rescue! Ah! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We're right behind you. Whoa! Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops yeah! all the way home. Mummy's going to kick the house again! Ah! I'm never going to stop! And on to the playground. Oh, Mummy Pig! Mummy skied all the way here backwards. Backwards? That is amazing skiing! Here is the Winter Games Cup. Again. Oh, thank you. My mummy's the best at skiing. <laughs> Peppa loves winter games. Everyone loves winter games. Mountain climbing. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes. Once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Brilliant. Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bobbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow. Once ago! Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Peppa is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes. Which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. 
If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high. George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh, dear. George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George. Mummy's coming. Stop! You can't climb without a rope. It's against the rules. No time for rules. I have to rescue George. <laughs> Mummy's here. Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello? What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right there. <laughs> Hang on, Mummy Pig. Woohoo! Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun. I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. <laughs> little cars. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Anywhere you like. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hi. Hello, 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 hello. What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. <laughs> We are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit. Would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. Oh, I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! 
Move off the road. Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go. <laughs> Wait for us. <laughs> Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. <laughs> You're very welcome. And I hope you've learnt at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone. Talking. Peppa and her friends are at Playgroup. Hab Spaß, mein kleines Lama. Das werde ich bestimmt. Ich freue mich so sehr auf mein erstes Mal im Kindergarten. What is that little girl saying to her mummy? Auf Wiedersehen. Hello there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today we have a new pupil joining us. Her name is Lottie Lama. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lottie. Please make Lottie feel welcome. Yes, yes we, we will. will. Hello, Lottie. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> hello again. You were talking funny with your mummy. I was talking German. Can you do some more German talking? What shall I say? Say, hello, I'm Lottie. Hallo, ich bin Lottie. Wow! Do you talk German a lot? Mostly with my mama. She comes from Germany. Ooh. How do you say, I like carrots? Ich mag Karotten. <laughs> How do you say, please open the window? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Yes, that's right. Watch this. Madame Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Of course. Oh, how did you know what I was saying? Because I can speak German. Ooh. If you learn languages, you can talk to all the people of the world. Say something then. Ciao, bambini. That is hello, children, in Italian. Wow. Do another one. Ciao, pagnol. Niemand hao. That is hello, children, in Chinese. Do it again. Oi, meninos. That is hello, children, in Portuguese. Madam Gazelle can speak all the languages of the world. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, can we learn all the languages? Of course. But let's start today with German. And I think Lottie will be a very good teacher. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. The best way to learn is to play. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I'm going to teach you German. Who is good at numbers? <laughs> Me. Look. One, two, three. In German you say... Eins, zwei, drei. Now it's your turn. <laughs> eins, zwei, drei. Wow. wow! How do I say... Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hallo, ich bin Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hello. Ich bin Peppa Pig. <laughs> it is home time and the parents have come to pick up the children.
That's fantastic, Pepper. I know some German words. Bitte fühlen Sie mein Auto mit Kartoffeln. Wow! What does that mean? It means, please fill my car with potatoes. Ah, that's why I could never get any petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Mama, Mama! Hello, Lottie. How was your first day at Playgroup? It was great. I made lots of new friends. Hello, ich bin Peppa Pig. Wow, you can talk German. Yes, I can. <laughs> Oh, meine kleine Süße. Du bist aber ein schlaues Kind. Welches ist dein Lieblingswort auf Deutsch? Äh, uh, yes. Peppa loves talking. Everybody loves talking. Peppa.